Good morning, everybody. For today's vlog, we're going to go over four mostly new, really cool pieces of tech. We're going to go over Arch Linux, Zellige, a modern Tmux, the Helix Editor, a modern Vim, and the Nix Package Manager. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a developer and a software engineering manager and a huge nerd. I spend all day in Linux, so I thought I'd go over some cool new tools that I discovered. Let's start with Arch Linux. It is a simple, lightweight Linux distro. The idea is all the packages are on their current stable version. So it's not bleeding edge and it's not old fashioned. It's just right, like Goldilocks. There's no versions, so it's not like you're on Arch 6 and then you upgrade to Arch 7. It's a rolling distribution and you're just always on the most recent stable version of your packages. You can install it with just one click from the Microsoft Store if you have the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is how I do my development. So you just search Arch, click Install, and you're good to go. So let's take a look at it. Here it is. It's bare bones. I think it's simple to use. Let's do NeoFetch and get the system info. Oh, it's not installed. Perfect time to show off Pac-Man, the package manager for Arch Linux. One of the best in the world, by the way. It has almost everything, and it's really fast. So sudo pacman sync neofetch, hit enter, proceed with, uh, proceed with installation. Yes, done. Let's try it now. There we go. Arch Linux. All right, so next let's move on to Zellige, a terminal workspace with batteries included. What does that mean? Well, we start with Arch Linux and we type Zellige. And it's like Tmux, except it works out of the box and it's easy to use. If you look at the bottom, there's just instructions at the bottom. You know exactly what to do, right? So control P for pane, right? Control pane, new pane. There's windows, windows have panes. There's tabs, tabs have windows and panes. Tab two, tab one. It works out of the box with the mouse. So I can copy something. If you look down here, text copy to system clipboard. And there it is. How nice is that? You can detach, right? So I can do my session detach. And if I do zellige attach, it comes right back. So it's like Tmux, except really easy to use. It even does floating windows. Watch this. Control P, W, boom. Resize it a bit bigger. Move it around with your mouse. Wow, it's a full window manager in a terminal. So cool. Let's move on to the Helix text editor, a post-modern text editor. What does that mean? Well, they say if NeoVim is the modern Vim, then Helix is post-modern. So let's take a look. Let's go in here and we will do Helix on my Bash RC. It's like Vim, but just like Zellige, it works out of the box and it's really easy to use. If you do Tutor, the Tutor pops up and you can learn all about it. But what I like is that it's got sort of a GUI. If you hit space, let me uh, make my thing smaller. All right, so the space menu brings up all the things you might want to do. It's not like Vim where you have no idea what you're doing. So you can use the go command and it window comes up. You know exactly what you're doing. You can do windows, so you can split. You can unsplit. Um, there is a finder. So you can do that and then buffer and it can search a buffer and it shows you a preview of what you're uh, currently using. Again, just it's like Vim, same sort of key bindings, but with menus 
sane defaults. Uh, and if you get stuck, it just tells you how to do it. I love it. And finally, let's check out the Nix package manager. So what is it? Well, it's a package manager that is functional. It doesn't worry about saving space and sharing libraries. It just installs the package you want at the version you want, and it just works. So let's search for Ruby here. And there's uh, a couple packages for every version, right? So Ruby by default is 278. They have Ruby 3.2, they have Ruby 3.1, and they have Ruby 3.0. So if I go into Arch Linux and do Ruby version, you see that Arch Linux comes with Ruby 3.0. But I'm a developer. I work on lots of websites. What if I want different versions installed at the same time for different projects? Well, let's go here and start Nix in the background. And then they have what's called the Nix shell, which drops you into a shell with a package of your choice or many packages and the version of your choice. So here I'm gonna do Nix shell with the package Ruby. And instantly, if I do Ruby version, now I'm at Ruby 2.7. So let's try this with another one, Nix shell Ruby 3.2. Instantly, if I do Ruby version, I'm now in Ruby 3.2. You might say, well, what's the difference between Nix and anything else like the Ruby package manager? Well, it's not just Ruby, it's anything, right? Any package, any version, instantly have it at your disposal in your shell. Uh, so that's it for today. Four great uh, tools, the Nix package manager, the Helix text editor, the Zellige Terminal Emulator, and Arch Linux, an oldie but goodie. Thanks for watching, and cheers.